Hello YouTubers, this is Eric from Easy Computer Solution, and this is my first 24 hours with the LG V10. Hello guys, this is Eric again with another video, and today I want to give you my 24 hours with the LG V10. If you watch my previous videos, you know that I had to replace this unit due to a bad battery and a fingerprint scanner, which I thought that uh, the fingerprint scanner won't, will not work with a case. But at the further investigation, I found that the fingerprint scanner is a little tricky. Uh, I'm kind of going to give you an example of what I'm talking about here. So I got my device here and what I'm going to do is I am going to turn it off just to make sure that uh, it works okay so the fingerprint scanner is working all right but here's the thing if I put the case on if I put the case on and try the fingerprint scanner guess what it doesn't work either way see doesn't work I got it on both fingers doesn't work all right, so, and I got it with the knock code also. So if uh, I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna show you something else. Further investigation, I found that it's not the case. It's not the case. It's the phone that does not respond to your finger. Look, check this out. Now, if I hold the phone normally, it's like this. All right, if I hold the phone normally and I, I Go on the turn on the power button and it comes on, right? But look, check this out. I'm gonna hold the phone like this and I'm gonna turn it off. Okay, and I am gonna take my finger and only press the finger on the fingerprint scanner. I'm gonna hold the phone like this. Alright, without holding the sides. I don't wanna touch the sides. I just wanna just touch the phone. Okay. See, it's not working. All right, I got my finger on the back. I got my finger on it. It don't want to work. All right, see that? It don't want to work. Kind of show you in the back. All right, I'm not touching the sides. All right, don't want to work when I put my finger on there. All right, see that? Okay. The reason why I, def I found this out, the reason why the fingerprint scanner doesn't work with a case on it is because I believe that the phone has something on the side that tells the phone that you're holding the phone. So when you press the fingerprint scanner, it comes on. All right. So once you put your finger on the back and boom, it comes on. But if you don't touch the sides, that's what I'm trying to show you here. I'm kind of give an example. It's kind of hard to do. But a uh, further investigation, look at that, boom, nothing. It said tap your finger, see? Got it on the back there, see? See that? So, what I'm saying is that if you don't touch the side of the phone, if you don't touch the side of the phone, the fingerprint scanner won't work. But as soon as you grip the phone and you press the fingerprint scanner, it works. So. In further investigation, I found that you have to hold the phone on the sides in order for the fingerprint scanner to work. So that's the deal between the case and the fingerprint scanner. I'm not sure what LG did to this device for maybe it senses on the side and sense that your your hand is gripping the phone. But if you do not grip the phone, as I showed you, like like this, see the fingerprint scanner doesn't work. Okay, as soon as you grip the phone, put your finger on it, and it works. See, that's what I'm saying. All right, so I just wanted to kind of let you see that. All right, enough of that. All right, so my first 24 hours with this device is a mixed bag. Uh, if you saw my benchmark video, you know that this score, this phone score a little low on benchmarks. Now, let's give a recap the specs. 
We have an 808 processor, which is a hexacore processor, a 5.7 inch screen, and we have a secondary screen at the top. Uh, we also have a camera in the back and all our touch stuff. We got the fingerprint scan in the back along with our volume rocker up and down um, with the camera and the dual flash. All right, nothing on the side here, nothing on the side there. At the top, you have your IR blaster and you have a microphone hole there and the microphone hole down there along with your speaker grill, uh, your charging port and your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And you can pull this off to reveal the 3000 milliamp battery. All right, and this can be replaced, which is great. So, but overall, even though the benchmark tests are scored low here, I am shockingly surprised that this device runs very smooth, very fast. Uh, I am definitely digging this phone. Uh, I am shocked. Uh, of, of course, um, I still have to run some more tests with it. This is my first 24 hours with the device. Uh, the battery life on here has been pretty solid. Um, I've been, uh, like I said, I'm still testing the device and uh, the, the battery life, the standby time to me is, is phenomenal. I uh, have no problem with standby time. Uh, but overall, the device is very fluid, very fast. What, one thing that I do not absolutely hate is LG skin on top of Android. So what I did was I put Nova Launcher on here and Nova Launcher is doing a great job. It's, I mean, this device is very fast and fluid. Apps open without a, without a hitch, uh, no problem, no lag. Right now, 24 hours in, into this device, I am getting no lag whatsoever. Let's talk about the camera. Uh, the camera is a 16 megapixel camera, which is a very, nice camera let's give you an example got my uh, prop right there my Vaseline and boom there you go so what I like about this here is as soon as you take a, a photo you can instantly share this uh, they have a drop-down menu here if I can get it to work all right so they have a drop-down menu you can instantly share your photo as soon as you take it that's a pretty neat trick uh, and also they have some bells and whistles here uh, along with your selfie camera again you got two cameras you got a wide angle lens and a narrow angle lens on here uh, for your selfie junkies all right and let's look at that picture all right so the picture I mean it's it's really good picture very good detail the, the, the camera itself is pretty good if you look at the detail never put that to the camera yes so overall the camera does a good job um, and you know for the most part the what Android lollipop running on this device and Nova launcher I'm not getting into issues now uh, I do find that the device does get a little hot, a little warm uh, to the touch when you push it in hard. Now, I got all my emails pushed to it. I got everything pushed to it. You know how I do it. I do it real full throttle. So, uh, for the most part, the device is, is doing very well for the first 24 hours. So, uh, the Let's talk about the secondary screen before I, I go here. The secondary screen gives you some of your uh, recent apps and it works pretty well. Uh, I get all my notifications up there, which is neat. Uh, it's pretty nice. So no issues with the notifications there. And I mean, it's right now it's fast and fluid. I mean, it, the, having your signature on there like a boss, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, you know, so I mean, as far as the the health to the device, you know, it's a solid device. I mean, I understand what LG is trying to do with this device. It's it's a very, very nice device. Uh, so let's do it in comparison to uh, some of the other devices that I have, because it is a big device. You know, 5.7 inch screen, plus you have the secondary screen, which it gives it a little height on it. So I got my Galaxy Note 5. Okay, turn that bad boy on. So I got my Galaxy Note 5 next to it. And you can tell that the LG V10 is much taller than the Galaxy Note 5. And it's much wider. 
than the Galaxy Note 5. All right? And it's wider by their hair. But for the most part, the LG V10 is, a, it is made uh, for, I mean, a very sturdy phone. I mean, the, the texture on the back at first, if you watch my, my videos, I did blast LG for, for using this texture. But for the most part, my first 24 hours, I'm going to give this a win uh, for my first 24 hours because it's a solid device. It's been treating me well so far. But I remember, I, this is a new device. I had to get me a new device due to the first device that I had was a bad one. All right. So but overall, it's a pretty solid device. And I'm going to continue to test this device and give you my opinion at the end before I do my review on this device. Overall, for the first 24 hours, I want to give this phone a win. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solution. Leave your comments down below. What you think about the LG V10? Is it a win? Uh, I mean, what, what do you have the device? Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. This is Eric from Easy Computer Solution. I will see you on the next video. Peace.